We're gathered today to hear directly from the American victims of illegal immigration. You know, you hear the other side, you never hear this side. You don't know what's going on. These are the American citizens permanently separated from their loved ones. The word permanently being the word that you have to think about, permanently. They're not separated for a day or two days. These are permanently separated because they were killed by criminal illegal aliens. These are the families the media ignores. They don't talk about them. These are the stories that Democrats and people that are weak on immigration, they don't want to discuss, they don't want to hear, they don't want to see, they don't want to talk about. No major network sent cameras to their homes or display the images of their incredible loved ones across the nightly news. They don't do that. They don't talk about the death and destruction caused by people that shouldn't be here. For years, their pain was met with silence. Their plight was met with indifference, but no more. I told them three years ago, when we were together, day one, just about day one, I would say, I said, I hear you, I see you, and I will never let you down. We call these brave Americans the angel families, angel moms, angel pops. These are the angel families. Your loss will not have been in vain. We will secure our borders, and we will make sure that they're properly taken care of. Eventually, the word will get out. We've got to have a safe country. I always hear that, oh, no, the population's safer than the people that live in the country. You've heard that, fellas, right? You've heard that. I hear it so much, and I say, is that possible? The answer is it's not true. You hear it's like they're better people than what we have, than our citizens. It's not true. They were released back into our civilian population. And these gentlemen had to do some of the releasing, and I don't think you were too happy when you knew, because you knew. They know better than anybody. You knew what you were releasing. You knew it was trouble, and it often comes back to be trouble. Where is the media outrage over the catch-and-release policies that allow deadly drugs to pour into our country? Where is the condemnation of the Democrat sanctuary cities that release violent criminals into our communities and then protect them? Like the mayor of San Diego, when she warned everybody that ICE is coming and they scattered. And where is the outcry over the savage gang MS-13 and its bloodthirsty creed, kill, rape, and control? Because the news media has overlooked their stories. I want the American people to hear directly from these families about the pain they have had to endure, losing not only their loved ones, great people.